So if I were to go around and bring in some visuals right here, let's say for example, if I were to go around and bring in this right here, and let me just also go around and bring in this cone right here. You can see that I cannot actually go around and see anything besides this particular ice cream right here. Let me just go around over here and then bring in, uh, let me just delete this and bring in, let's say, this one right here as well. And what you can see is you don't see behind uh, this particular visual right here. But if I want to go around and let's say, for example, see behind these, uh, this particular object, then you can utilize the opacity setting to make it a bit transparent. So I can go around and decrease out the opacity and you can see that uh, the object becomes transparent and you can immediately see behind it right here. And this can be utilized for effects right here, like a mirror effect uh, or maybe glass effect where uh, um, uh, things are transparent. So you can go around and apply up the opacity setting right here and make it transparent over here in multiple objects as well. And you get the same instance. So you can see behind this and you can see behind this. And this is the effect that you have right here. You can go around and turn the opacity back on over here just like this as well and set it out to maximum just like this as well. So that is how you can work around with object opacity to see behind um, um, uh, objects or to make the object transparent just like this inside of Microsoft Designer. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.